Yeah, bellissimo! Bellissimo! Oh, ciao, Great. ciao, ciao bella! Ciao, bella! Sì. Ciao! <laughs> ciao! I feel so bad. Hey, everyone. It's just us from Remark. <laughs> it's yes. me, one of your hosts, Kristen Finger. And I am one of your hosts, Kevin Reagan. And I'm your uh, stage manager and doll collector and wheel spinner, Mike G, everybody. Wow. You'll find out what that wheel is later. Ooh, or you won't. I, or not. Or not. Kevin, do you want us to tell... Do you want, do you want, do you want to tell us about what magical film we watched this weekend? I do, indeed. We watched a little something called The Wedding Veil Unveiled, a.k.a. The Wedding Veil Part 2. Part 2 in part two. a three-part trilogy? Three-part trilogy! Yeah, back to you, Kevin and Kristen. Wow! <laughs> It's not working, right. is it this way? Oh yeah, I always Honestly. do that. Yeah. So it is a three part in a trilogy. Mm. I thought it would be nice to talk very quickly about some other trilogies, second oh. parts. And, oh. you know, we'll just throw a couple out there. There's something like uh, for a few dollars more. Ah, That's a nice <laughs> I'm one. Not, I am unfamiliar. Ooh, the Man With No Name series. If you watch The Book of Boba Fett, it's basically this. It's based basically on this. Really? How about something called The Two Jakes? Oh. Wait, is the third one called The Three Jakes? No. What's the first one called? <laughs> Jack. Jake. Jake. <laughs> Chinatown. Chinatown, Jake. of course. And the third one's called... Who framed Roger Rabbit? And that is oh, true. Oh, that's you can not... look in... That is true. What do you mean? No, that is true. Look it up. You're ridiculous. Look, Let's get to an actual trilogy, uh, Kevin. There you Come go. On. How about the Dark Knight? This is the second in a trilogy as well. I can't, I can't wait for the new Batman movie. And finally, the second movie of the greatest trilogy of all time, often considered the best second movie of all time. Correct. Empire of the Sun. <laughs> I think no. you would hear that. Maybe you don't. I, I don't. I don't remember the sun. <laughs> I forgot to send it. Well, there you have it. So uh, those are some seconds. This one, we will talk about how we feel that uh, the wedding veil unveiled matches up with these. Uh, don't forget, though, these three friends. Do you have this picture, Mike? Yep. Uh, here we go. Here's the three leads there. Oh, oh wow. What? We're a, We're a trilogy. We're a trilogy. <laughs> we are a trilogy. We are. are just yes, never to be broken up again. Sorry, Mike. Keep on producing. We drive Mike <laughs> crazy. <laughs> There's and just, you know, some technical things that I have to deal with. We're the three <laughs> best friends that anyone could ask. <laughs> so Guys, I, do, go, yeah. keep going. Keep going. Well, well, do we want to do we want to do this at the top of the show or the end of the show where we talk about who we are in the world of I Let's wedding. just do it. I say let's do it because so, yeah. I love a quiz. I love okay, a yeah. quiz. So you can do this on Hallmark's website. They do have the option, which Wedding Veil trilogy character are you? I'm going to allow the audience a moment or two to think about <laughs> this. Who do you think Miss Kristen Finger is? Do Dude, we will There's spin six, the wheel. It's the shortest quiz. Even it's the shortest quiz I've ever taken. I mean, it's even what, what Disney character are you is a more complex procedure. You know, yeah. uh, what house are you? My gosh, it's like your life. It's a it's right. a life changing moment. Yeah. This yeah. was very simple. It was also super easy to guess if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah, don't, don't really the results. <laughs> no. it's, literally, yeah. it's literally like quizzes that I've taken that it's like, which British bad boy would yeah. you be perfect with? And I just answer them to get to Tom Hiddleston. I don't understand. I, know, I, feel, I feel like people will take this quiz and go, I want to be Avery and answer in a certain yeah. way to be Lacey Chabert. Kristen Finger is, in fact... Lake Avery, Avery. Avery. Yes. <laughs> that you know what i'm not gonna lie i was a little yeah. shocked i was just answering the questions yeah whatever mm -hmm. and she's uh, i don't know i don't know if i trust this quiz but you okay. don't think you're an avery i don't know she's very yeah. like man love love and i just feel like I'm <laughs> jennifer love love hewitt <laughs> No, like, stop with the she's the one that's like 
this veil is magical. Oh no, that might be me. Never mind. It's That's me. You. That's <laughs> you. Yeah. How about the? How about me? How about me? The? Uh, right. Am I the practical one who believes in no magic? Because the person I got was Miss <laughs> Allison Sweeney. There she is. Mm, delicious. One, delicious. One. All right. And this was I. To just be honest here. Yeah, I both of these results were shared with me, and I was given the very pressured situation of, <laughs> "Hey, Mike, try to get Emma." Uh, and I said, "But don't cheat." And uh, that's cheat. Yeah. so I'm already in my head. You know what I mean? Trying to be like, "Oh my god!" I and, didn't say try and get Emma. I said it would be awesome if you did. Get awesome Emma, if you did. Yeah. yeah. So, so just dad, dad guilt, pure dad guilt, right there. Um, and I got Emma, everybody. Hey! <laughs> you know why? It's the first question is. Do you like a nice hat? <laughs> the answer was yes. <laughs> That's true. I do like a nice hat. I do like like traveling abroad. I skipped. I didn't say I wanted the Italian honk because that felt like way too on the nose. So I yeah. did answer some things. I think that might have been a little skewing Avery. Um, but ultimately, um, this lovely lady showed up at the end. And there yeah. it is. There's um, my results. It's it, Results. Yeah. I yeah, did think that I was going to get Emma. And then I got Avery and I was like, what is this world? And I think that says a lot about when you take those quizzes you're like, I know me. And then these quizzes are like, no, you don't. You don't. Yeah. No, you don't. We know you. Well, we yeah, exactly. You. They want, they, yeah, they ping you for the character. You're like, I hope I'm not this person. Or, you know right. what I mean? Like, there's no way I'm yeah. this person. And then they're like, no, you're exactly that person. Yeah. So, yep. yeah. well, well, listen, let's get into Mike's movie then. Let's get into uh, <laughs> yeah. Emma, the story of Emma in the wedding veil, unveiled. The second part in the triplet, <laughs> triplet of the <laughs> trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> the Wedding Veil. This, once again, is directed by Terry Ingram, Ingram and written by the Berg sisters, Judith and Sandra Berg. Kristen Finger, would you like me to read you the Hallmark-approved synopsis before turning it over to you? Oh. Of course I do. It's the, it's, I rely on it. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Here we go. Veg Vegary. Here we go. Emma travels to Italy to teach and research a wedding veil said to bring its owner love. Ooh. While there, she meets Paolo, the son of a local lace-making oh, family. There he is. Starring Autumn Reeser, Paolo Bernardini, yes, Lacey Chabert, <laughs> and, of course, me, Allison Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> finger, tell us every single thing about this movie. Listen, I was real pumped to see the gang all back together. <laughs> um, because we open on Emma packing with Allison Sweeney. I don't remember Allison Sweeney's Tracy. Character. Tracy. I'm Tracy. a Tracy. Just know okay. I'm a Tracy. Yeah. Great. Um, and there was a very awkward moment where they started talking deeply about apple pie. And I was like, this better come back later. It yeah. does. But there's like this weird part where Tracy's like, no, I'm not hungry. And I was like, oh, no, is this movie about like, is Tracy okay? And then it was literally a stall tactic yeah. because Lacey Chabert, me, Avery, Avery. Yeah. shows up and it's like a surprise, like friendship. Yep. And uh, they go out to lunch, rosé all day, mm -hmm. and they do the classic cheers and take a cute little selfie of themselves together. Keeping just... in mind, they say, this is not our spring get together. This right. is bonus. This is bonus. Bonus friendship. Can I tell you though, real quickly, before they take that selfie, they're walking and it's a, it's a one, it's a onesie. It's a one -er, where they're walking. It's a long take, the three of them walking and they walk yeah. through this incredibly dark area. And I even said to my wife, I go, this is like bad filmmaking. Like it, throw a light up on those steps. You could have easily lit that. And then they come out of the darkness into the light. And she goes, this is a good, this is good lighting for a selfie. And I was like, did they do that for that line? I think so. It's got to be a payoff, you yeah. know, if you're going to write that good of lines. That's true. Uh, it's great. Yeah. So it's cute. So they're very supportive and they're very, uh, we get to catch up a little bit with Avery and her new marriage, obviously. Yes, Peter. And yep. we find out that Emma has recently broken off with her boyfriend of four years, yep. Yowza. And um, then we find out that Tracy is still with the guy that seems a little blah to me. I think yeah. we were, I think we're just supposed to hate him from the top. Yeah. We haven't met him yet, but I no. think we hate him. I can't understand his name either because when they say it, they always say it so fast and I don't know what it is. It sounds like Vic, 
But the problem is the fellow she meets in the next movie's name is Nick. So I don't, I don't know. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. No spoilers, guys, because it's a trailer. Oh, 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 oh right. sorry. Come Come on. On. Don't spoil. Yeah, I haven't watched the trailer for the, the Wedding Bell Legacy yet, so I don't want to know who's going to make a cat. Right. Oh, you're one of those. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, I, don't, so, I don't stay up all night on Reddit. Continue, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> Delightfully, Emma packs her little one suitcase. Yep. That assumably is leaving plenty of room for Italian gifts to be brought back. And of course, in brilliant Hallmark fashion, these women are the most stealth packers because they have hats, coats, more. I did count three pairs of shoes. Oh, uh, yeah. like so many address, many, many address. Many address. Yeah. I will note yeah. though, they were very like thin fabric, very easy rollable dresses. Okay, but that's not fitting in that suitcase. And she's there for six weeks. She's actually there yeah. for two months because then she's going to Rome for two weeks. So right. maybe there's well, a longer mat. I don't know. But any who's, she makes it there and is staying at the most quaint, like, hi, we're in Italy. This is cute. I'm going to stay here location and meets the, let's call her the innkeeper. Yeah. The concierge, I don't know. perhaps. Huh? Concierge? concierge? I think she owns the joint. I mean, women in business. Hashtag. Um, She's lovely. Francesca. And Her name is Francesca. Francesca. Yeah. Francesca. And here we begin the journey of do we speak Italian or do we just speak American to the dumb American? Yep. So she, I think she does ask her, do you speak English? Yeah. And she's like, oh, yes. Yes. All the store owners here speak English. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think that I, I know where we're getting with this because I actually thought the beginning of the movie did an okay job with this. They did start speaking in Italian or she would try to speak to them with her like random phrases and they'd be like, oh, yeah. this idiot, like, let me change over to English. It's yeah. later when we get to the family Italia yeah. uh, where I'm like, it's hard. It's tough. It's no, no, no. Tough. These yeah. people, look, they all <laughs> gave each other Rosetta Stone for Christmas. And they're, so they're, using it. they're like, it's for fun. the sake of the American yeah. audience watching us our lives. Yeah. We will do our family dinners yeah. in English. Yeah. 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 That sounds good. So, uh, Emma has uh, a day or two to get acquainted with the city and before she begins teaching. And she'll be teaching art, American art, <laughs> to yep. college students. Yep. Um, so this is where we get to meet Paolo. 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 So you know what? I'm not going to lie. Anyone that's ever bought a train ticket from New Jersey Transit <laughs> as, or a Metro card for yep. that thing or a subway card has had this happen to them the first time they had to do this. It is not an easy thing to figure out. So I do not. And also, it, assumably in Italian. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, anyway. and, and, and he even says she put the date in wrong because the way Europeans do the date, they do the year first. And she was trying to put in yeah. the month first. And that's not Would how any of you known that. I didn't know that. I, when they when he said it, actually, I think it's the day. You do the day, then the month. That's what it was. Uh, yeah, I, I, I know it, but I wouldn't know it to buy it that way. I know that right. they do that, but. I just yeah. thought of in Schitt's Creek when. Alexis buys her tickets for the wrong month and day because airline tickets are like that. And I was yeah. like, what? Like, I. <laughs> yeah. So thank she God my clearly... husband is buying the yeah. tickets. <laughs> I think this also like kind of establishes her character up front of being um, very, you know, uh, conf like a confident, you know, strong woman who's uh, teaching abroad and making these it's strong, bold life choices. You know what I mean? And yep. like, doesn't need a man's help. It's like, ah, I, no. I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. mind this. I think she got a little flustered, like uh, a, a Chicago, a city person, an American city person, yeah. might, but it felt very natural. Her helping it, her, you know, again, it's, you know, it felt natural to like the European thing. So yes. it wasn't too annoying. It wasn't as annoying. No, as it wasn't. I, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I am on her side because yeah. 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 even to, to this day, when I have to add money to my Metro card in the subway, right. <laughs> I'm still like. Huh, uh, bah, bah. This, it, it's important to also note this was the third outfit she was wearing in Italy at this point. And she's <laughs> only important. been there for a day. 
It's some a counter. Same I'll shoes, though. Same shoes. Same shoes. Maybe, we, maybe we can add a uh, an outfit counter in post, but we'll see how far I go. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so Paolo comes to the rescue. Yeah. And he's, you know, look at this guy. He's got a lovely smile. We'll talk about him. We'll break him down further later. But assumably, a nice guy. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we think, well, that's the end of that. We Good-looking Italian guy. We're never going to see him again. We're going to never see him again. I mean, it's just, you know, nope. Bing bong. Like, literally two seconds later. Yeah. You're too close to the ledge. Not yet. Wait. wait, wait. She dropped her ticket and oh, she yeah. wouldn't be able to get back. And yep. he goes, you dropped your ticket. And she's like, are you stalking me? And it's like, yeah, yeah. Hey, he just saw you. Like, that's yeah. not stalking. He no. has to leave for that to be that's, stalking. That is a preemptive, important question that a woman asks the first time they see someone for the second time. <laughs> the first time, <laughs> second time. Got it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> because then, bing bong. You're too close to the edge. Bing bong. This is my grandma's shop. Bing bong. I'm everywhere. <laughs> a lot of bing bongs. Let's just say this real fast too, though. She was very close to the edge. And he says, you don't want to fall in. That water's cold. I want to give you guys a little bit of trivia. Not trivia, but I'm going to give oh. you knowledge that you can use as yeah, trivia. Catherine Hepburn filmed a movie called oh. Summertime in 1955. She jumped into that canal. She fell in the movie, but she went into that canal multiple times Catherine Hepburn from 1955 until she died had an eye infection from that. So I don't care how cold that water is. It is dirty. A it's nasty. Yeah. It's nasty. It's like the East river. Yep. It's gross. You don't yeah. go in. We the would dare, it's the we would dare my friend, go Matt this. Behan to go in go the honest. East river with a G with a G go, ah, go, go on, go on. What do I know? I'm in Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah. The Schuylkill. It's the Schuylkill. It's, it's the Phil Schuylkill. Philadelphia where all the water is crystal clear. <laughs> no, oh, it is God, not. No. It's not. <laughs> uh, so we get to, she's obviously carrying around the veil. Yeah. Uh, don't forget that's half the movie. Is that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, she's on a mission to discover. It's so important, Lord. Chris. They say it twice in the title. <laughs> the wedding veil unveiled, yep. mm -hmm. or a unveiling of information. Oh, oh. So we discover that Paolo and his—that's the only way I can say his name—and uh, his family own. A lace making factory business. Hey. Hey. D. D. Stefano Martello D. Arte. That's the right. one. Uh, so we learn that this veil indeed actually belongs in the Stefano uh, <laughs> family. Yes. Uh, so Paolo asks, Can we have it? <laughs> yeah. My grandma. Well, can we, we buy it? Very we happy. Buy it. Yeah. Nona, Nona freaks out. Like she freaks yeah. out over this thing. Yeah. And it's like yeah. this. This is. We thought this veil was destroyed in a yeah. fire, but the candle. Eh? And he know. offers to buy it. He doesn't say, "Can we have it? Can right. we buy it?" True. True. Which was nice. And she's like, "Oh, I wouldn't sell something like this. I just need to check with my homies because yeah. we split it." Yeah. Um. So. Of course, they say, yes, give it to them, which still is shocking to me. I'm not going to lie Why? because Why? because I got married in it <laughs> like Avery. Good point. Got, Avery. Good point. Avery but got, I don't care. I don't I don't believe in it. And and as far as we can tell, uh, Mike Emma is also like, well, whatever. I don't you know, I'm not really subscribing to this and I've got a sweet hat. So, well, that's what was shocking was as the Avery of the group. Yeah. I feel as though I'd be like, but guys, this is sentimental and yeah. you all need to find love and we need to have it as our traveling pants. Yeah. I'm fine. I have Nick or Vic or whatever his name is. It's cool. Well, that's fine. But that's why I was shocked that Lacey Chabert's character, Did, me, yeah. didn't have a problem. That's what I'm saying. She already got hers. She's like, I'm, She's like, I'm done. Thanks so much. Whatever. I like that. I like that Zoom meetings have become sort of like the plot moving forward device of these this yeah. trilogy yeah. so far. So like, if a problem needs to be solved, as long as yeah. the ladies get on Zoom really quick and have a glass of rosé, okay. it'll be fine. Yeah. Move forward. Yeah. They're going to get fine. good, good advice, good life lessons, good decision making, all on Zoom. They're they're best friends. They're a trilogy. Of they're friends. a trilogy. A trilogy of friends. Yeah, they are. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um. So, not to brag. Yeah. But um, I've been to Italy. What? Yeah. Is that um, what this is now? Just Chris's slideshow. Come on. I just have a slideshow of there. Oh, come on. <laughs> She's cute. Uh, so this was in 2000. I don't remember when, <laughs> but my brother was stationed in uh, Vincenza. Uh, so we went to um, wherever this is, wherever they were. The Verona. Verona. Sorry. It makes more sense. Uh, and I believe where I'm doing this epic pose is where uh, Nanu's uh, birthday party like they sat with like the candles and yeah. looked at the moon. So we're like the, around, the, yeah. the festival, yeah. The I'm... Coliseum of sorts. Yeah. Um, and then this is the river that she almost fell in. So <laughs> very nice. Uh, <laughs> next on my slideshow of Kristen in Italy. It's time. We, we should have made a bumper. It's Kristen <laughs> in Italy. Hey, there it is. Hey. Oh. It's a Romeo and Juliet. Well, well, well. Hey. This is right. where Emma was like, I don't need to go there because I don't believe in love. Because again, yeah. Emma had just been broken up with after yeah. four years and I think was cheated on. I Maybe think. that's the stuff. He tried to do long distance and then I think he stepped out on her. And I don't think Hallmark would explain that, but I think that's what happened. There was a lot of comments from her that were very like, oh, I put too much trust in love and yep. I'm not going to make that mistake again. And those those tend to be male or female. The like classic lines that you say when you you were the one that something yes. happened to. It, it wasn't a mutual thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. But so you want to see this lot. beautiful balcony. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so sure. we, we, we saw the balcony. That's me with Juliet. <laughs> So, and, so uh, Emma, Emma does not subscribe to this uh, 13-year-old uh, romance <laughs> between Romeo and Juliet, yeah. suicide pack intact and yeah. all. I get it. It's cool. Yeah. Whatever. It's fine. Genetic romantic. It's fine. Yeah. Now, the important thing, do I have any more vacation pictures, Mike? I don't think I do. <laughs> yeah, but they're all from New Jersey. It got real weird. <laughs> this is me at the Jersey Shore. Wildwood, to be exact. Just kidding. <laughs> Very Italian. Still very uh, Italian. So <laughs> I do recommend going if you're able. Um, my brother had lived there uh, <laughs> on base. So anytime There's anyone so came to visit them, he would have to go to these same cities every single time someone came to visit them. And I have this really great picture of him, which I should have I should have brought it. Uh, <laughs> but it just says um, it's like him pointing and he just kept he, the entire time. He just kept saying, look, another old building. Aww. So that's what you get for living in Italy. You get bored with it. They, res they reference that in a weird way in the movie because she's big into art history and yeah. her students want more modern stuff. And Paolo says they live in history. This whole They live in history. Is history. So my so brother was right. <laughs> he, absolutely. One of the things that we find out very quickly uh, about the veil is that um, it is not the veil that uh, Ariana actually wore in her wedding. So it's not right. the veil. Uh, uh, Michi paints her in this veil. We know that yes. from the last movie, The Portrait of a Bride. But she is not wearing that veil in her actual wedding photo. Um, she is Paolo's great, great, great grandfather's sister. So you figure out what that means. I Okay, <laughs> here's... We need to do math. Because yeah. at, I know. One, at one point, yep. they said that it was 133 years old. Correct. But grandmom... Nana, uh, Nona is turning 85. Right. So yeah. 85. And she met. <laughs> yeah, I know. And she met uh, Ariana, met her husband before uh, she died, right. but when she, after she got married. So right. let's say that she got married at 20. Let's just say at 20. Okay. Okay. And let's also say uh, Ariana was 20 when she got married. Sure. Because... Again, it's it the that we that was made right for her, so that's where the 133 starts is at her wedding. Yeah. So we don't know how long she lives. Yeah. That's tough, but like, it it just it it does seem a little weird because it has to be. I got it. It's it it comes out to boobs. Boobs. <laughs> it's. Boobs. <laughs> I'm nice. gonna play. Uh, 
for for the remainder of this uh, React <laughs> video, I'm gonna play Italian <laughs> cafe music. Anytime yeah. we talk too long about a particular plot detail, good it point, really good doesn't point. matter. We get I played off. Interesting. We get played <laughs> Ariana <laughs> married Count DeMarco, and we are trying to count these years, and we are failing miserably. So let's move it's on. Terrible. I'm only no, gonna I mean, assume that the Stefano family are vampires. Uh, yes, <laughs> oh, that's actually true. That's yeah. actually true. No, no I mean, no, there no, were no, a they, lot of details. A lot of garlic. A lot of garlic. There were a lot of like sort of historical details because they're actually when uh, Avery's episode, right, the first one, I, they did talk. You know, they, there was this historical sort of like mystery, you know, that yeah. went on, and I feel like they like tried to do that in this one, and just like yeah. to less success, they like sort of created some like oh twit like twists that were just kind right. of not really twit like yeah. it wasn't really hers and like we'll get to the baby situation you know what i mean like the yeah the so like weird. Un, yeah. yeah the unheard of baby with the the, the servant and just all this <laughs> stuff but but like it didn't i don't know if it played into the overall story <laughs> right yeah. that importantly you know what i mean yeah. they they go to the museum and they meet with the curator to talk about amici and you figured they're gonna get all the information they need here and kind of move away from the storyline but he gives them some information. One of the pieces is that Amici died soon after he painted that portrait of a broken mm -hmm. heart because <laughs> Ariana married the Count instead of him. They had fallen in love. Yeah. But we also find, um, so in Amici studies, his, his visual notes, Ariana's smiling. And the curator says there is a biography of Amici's, but... It's probably out of print. That's what the curator <laughs> says. Like, I don't know. It's, it's don't waste your time. It's probably out of print. It's so fine. here's something interesting. We, you said we, they, like they're yeah. looking. This is, uh, because again, bing bong. Bing bong. Uh, bing bong. Uh, Milo shows up again when she's going to go meet this curator. And he's like, hi, I'm here because my grandma. And I'm like, you are stalking. Dead, dead ringer. Dead oh, ringer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anywho, they go on a lovely journey. And what do we find ourselves in? Another basement. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Very We're going exciting. all the way to the basement. Don't forget, there's some important piece of information that oh. comes up. What? And this was a hard sell because we find out or Paulo finds out about Emma and her breakup, but Emma finds out Paulo's oh, yeah. wife oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. is dead. <gasps> dead. Dead wife, play the sound cue. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Wait for it. Oh, that's right. I, I keep thinking it's music. Oh, dude, 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 that's might be a little too dark, but it's yeah, it's pretty dead dark. Wife, dead wife alert. Three dead years, wife. three years. Once again, she's been dead for three years. That's the number that Hallmark that's... has figured out is appropriate for you to move on. I feel years. like they took a Family Feud poll of people, <laughs> and that was the number number one answer. Three years. <laughs> well, they, they probably got letters. The, you know, the first time they did it, they're like, yeah, yeah she died last week. A lot of letters. A lot of, oh, too, and then they went too far the other way. Like, oh, I've been widowed for 27 years. And they're like, too long. It's too, too long. long. So then they just, three years. <laughs> three figured years. out in a lab. But three yeah. Years. So every time, Paulo very nicely brings up his wife and and talks about dating and, and he was put set on blind dates. Emma's like, yeah, me too. And it's like, it's not the same. It's not, it's, the same. Just, it's not the same. It's not, buddy. Like this man loved someone and then they yeah. died and now has to start again. You <sighs> have never begun. <laughs> Unless we think this is like a sleeping with the fishes situation where What? Mike, Mike, play that music again. Get, oh, get you want violence. Play, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I right. will say uh, two cafe. Two cafe. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's a little Kevin, cafe right now. I need like more of a yeah. Kevin, that's a there delightful go, segue. Good. Yeah. into uh, <laughs> finding out the inner workings of Paolo Ooh. and the Stefano family. Should yeah. I cut to the picture of the Stefano family? Please. There they are. The it's Stefano. <laughs> that doesn't <laughs> look like Wait, let me, let, me, let me get this. Wait, now we definitely need this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the Stefano family has... Has a uh, lunch or dinner, or whatever they eat. Lunch, in Italy. lunch, yeah. yeah, it's lunch. Uh, every time they have a family business meeting, because the whole family is involved in the business. So sleeping yeah. with the fishes, Kev, they may have killed the wife. Uh, it's possible she wanted to they, expand. 
too yeah. quickly. Yeah. So um, this is where I come back to, do we speak Italian or no? <laughs> yeah. All right. It's time to play everybody's favorite game that we didn't prepare for. It's time for, do we speak Italiano or no? <laughs> Kristen, take it away. You're up first. Great. Uh, this is a me a speaking Italian or Esculetabe. Nope. Sorry. I don't understand what you're saying. Could you speak? Ah. English with an Italian accent? You lose, Kristen. You needed to speak ah. yeah. English with an Italian accent the entire time. <laughs> but I thought I was a tail. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So they do. They do the uh, speak, speak with the Italian accent. Obviously, these are all Italian actors capable of speaking Italian. Once in a while they do and it's subtitled, but when they are giving out pertinent information, it is all laid out in English with Italian accents so that everybody knows that Paolo wants to open a store, a lace store, or it's not just lace, um, stateside in the United States, pre preferably in New York City. Uh, his father does mm -hmm. not feel they need to expand yet. We mm -hmm. do not need to expand, let's take it slow. Paolo says, we have not opened a store in 40 years. <laughs> I don't understand cool. how yeah. this family is still in business. Yeah. I don't know if either of you have ever, because like them just talking about opening another lace store just yeah. made me think of the sketch from Portlandia when they have the doily store that yeah. Jeff Goldblum is in. Yeah. I just picture like, you have this lace and you have this lace. I've also yep. been watching a lot of Shark Tank recently, and that's what I thought. Like, I was like, oh, maybe they got one of the sharks to, like, help them with distribution or something yeah. like that. Because they were like, no, our, our, we're selling so much overseas already. Business is up 25%. I'm picturing, like, the old Italian ladies at night just, like, like working. <laughs> oh, I got like, keep going. Keep going. Yep. <laughs> no! Uh, and the other interesting thing is they were, like, in the handbag market, too. Yeah. No lace on those handbags no whatsoever. No lace on those handbags. Yeah. But what and that was, that was a big seller that Paolo took it on his own to sell in the U.S. Anyhow, did incredibly well. That'll come back later as well. You know what um, lace is? Uh, you know what lace was guaranteed in this uh, trilogy, though. What's that? Lacey Chabert. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Lace is out. Ray lace Finkel. is out. Finkel. So uh, we also see Emma is teaching her class, and when this? she first shows up, Natalia, who is running the department says to her your class is full and then we see she's teaching 15 people in a huge auditorium i have to assume they have covid protocols in place and i, I applaud that i applaud I, it. okay a, you know how we always talk about like uh oh subplot g i just don't think we needed the lucas plot luca what is this this isn't a football movie about a 14 year old <laughs> It's about no. a boy who might also be a fish. Yeah. <laughs> Good movie. I just was like, where are we going with this? Mm -hmm. Like, I, and then it just was like, okay, great. It brought Avery back in because she worked for the funding place. But uh, we it brought already... Peter back in because he's got the money. Yeah. But it's like, was that yeah. was that whole subplot little, literally to remind us that Avery married a wealthy dude? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I because it just that. felt it just felt. What do you call that? The graduate. It Crap. felt like oh. Luca liked Emma. Oh. I, you know, it's it's funny, Chris. I I even tweeted this, and it, it was a, a tweet that got some of the most responses. And I don't know if it's the same way in Italy, but in the U.S., if he was a TA, which I was yeah. like, just make him a TA his tuition automatically would have been paid for. The whole story was that Luca, the first time we see him, he, which also didn't make sense, but he used a fire extinguisher to put out sparks because <laughs> Emma tried to open PowerPoint on her computer. And that's not what happens. Like, and he's like, did you use a converter? And, uh, and it's like, okay, maybe that if she was powering up, but the computer was clearly on and she just opened her PowerPoint and that was Ooh, too much. I'm sorry, Kevin. That's way too much information about a minor <laughs> Son of movie. a... Mike, I was Does this really close to making... matter? <laughs> yeah, I was that close to making fun of you and all the technical problems. That's <laughs> I say you are totally an Emma. Yeah. <laughs> Inside joke. Pretty, Inside yeah. joke. <laughs> so anyway, we have subplot G of Luca <laughs> and his Definitely. troubles. Yeah. Uh, but what I want to bring us back to... Do it. ...is the research in the basement and yeah. other places yeah. such as boats there were yeah. so many boat rides yeah. 
Kev, I think you have a particular uh, Hamburglar situation. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> there he is. So obviously the Hamburglar was trying to encroach on this romantic relationship. Um, this is a who word better. Better. I know it's kind oh, of okay. Got you. Yeah, I think the Hamburglar audience will see it better for you. Yeah, right. I think the Hamburglar's conceding to the gondola. He's like, uh, he looks good. Captain. I will say they had their arms around each other a lot. Yeah. There was a lot of like uh, you have this moment. This <laughs> okay, okay. Red flag. All right. Yeah. In any, I hate when they do this. Yes. When they're like. I'm going to get up and put my arms around you and show you how to do this. Get the heck off of me. <laughs> Agreed. This is in America, in American cinema or just Amer the, the dude move is in golf or bowling. Yeah. That, this is when dudes do it in America. Uh, in Italy, they do it uh, when you are sewing lace. lace. <laughs> I just, it is a trope that needs to stop because... I, this is a never happened to be, I think, because I think the person <laughs> would know I'd kick their ass if they yeah. tried to like come behind me and show how to me to properly. I don't know, guys, is this, do you see this as a romantic gesture? Am in I ghost in the movie ghost, <laughs> but it's also, it was, it was a warning. Ghost. It was, it was a warning to Patrick Swayze's character yeah. that he's going to die. Spoiler if you ever see ghosts. <laughs> no, but in oh, Ghost it tale. was the it was the way that they were connecting being a corporeal form and a non-corporeal form. So it was beautiful because they could connect through this like right. sort of weird thing. Wait, didn't yeah. they just do that when he was alive? They did no. it when they were alive. Yeah, and so then he was, was able to like yeah. then yeah, they like yeah. they set it up to then to Hey, do you guys want to just talk about ghosts the rest of the <laughs> podcast? <laughs> Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. We're again out of. I... <laughs> um, yeah, I, that's a great question, Kristen. Because I do I don't know because I'm a, a male. Um, the do guys try this move? I like, don't know. Or is it just a made up thing? I, I, I feel like it's. it's I feel like it's more up. of a made up thing. I think there is some like what do they call it? Like Kino or whatever, where you're like, oh, supposed to like do like touches and things like that. But it's never like a, let me help you with this like no. activity. <laughs> That's super. I thought you said so Kegel for a minute. I thought you said the Kegels, which it, you're not supposed to touch. No. You don't don't, touch. don't yeah. make this yeah. too spicy. You'll get oh, very down. spicy. So sorry. We got yeah, 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 too sexy, too sexy, too sexy. <laughs> but yeah, so I didn't like this moment at all. And the look on it, Emma's face right now, she didn't like it either. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I actually, in my notes, Chris, I wrote Paulo mansplains lacing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't need you to mansplain the most, like, ugh, it was just stupid. I hated yeah. it. I hated it. I think it. she, like, uh, he was a little bit aggressive the whole way through. Like you said, he was very yes. stalkery. He was clearly, I will say what guys do do is this move of sort of, like, going around the block you know what i mean like i'm gonna just walk around the block and hope i run back into her type of thing or like yeah. i'll walk out front the side of her apartment i don't mean me specifically but i mean i think this is definitely a move like maybe if i'm just casually walking by her yeah. apartment you know what i mean this will happen yeah. super soccery super weird things like this are super and she was actually pretty much like fighting him off for a while yeah. in this movie <laughs> like and i don't know exactly when the turn happened maybe you'll talk I, about that but i don't the remember only the only time moment. i saw the yeah. turn happen is like maybe when they like met at that party that Francesca or the what's her that's name that's right that's right when yeah, they were sitting on, the, sitting on the like little with the with the lanterns and things yeah, yeah so like yeah. maybe that was yeah. the turning point because I think it was the next day where she was like I think I'm falling for him yeah like but but like I feel like it's Stockholm syndrome at that point because <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> yeah just yeah like bing bong he's always there so I, I do feel like he was giving her welcoming advice because uh, subplot g slash four she was having a hard time connecting with her Teaching. students and yeah. this is kind of bringing back in what we had said where they didn't care about american history you know she even says i hope everyone did their their required reading on the american revolution they don't care about that and the one girl says we want to learn about Liechtenstein and and warhol and that's what they wanted they wanted modern yeah art and they were getting like you know whistler's mother at one point so that's yeah. not what they were interested I'm, in i'm maybe back on it so, you know, he just liked her from the instant that he saw her like yeah he yeah. just was yeah. try trying some kind of dorky like you know potential stalkery um methods of like yeah. like oh this american she's like pretty and she seems nice and i'm gonna keep yeah. helping her with her like travels and it's right fine. and but, I 
he, uh, he, he then he, pray, he pray her, love or something, right? Yeah. He tells her <laughs> one of the creepiest stories I've ever heard, which was the fisherman and the siren when they're on the okay. boat. Okay. <clears throat> and what he says is a fisherman encounters a siren who's singing her song and the fisherman does not have sex with the siren, basically, <laughs> because he has a wife and he's going to go home. So the siren flips its tail, sirens are mermaids, flips its tail, makes a pattern on the boat. He takes that off. That is a veil that he gives to his wife. It was creepy and weird, and I don't <laughs> quite understand what the hell the purpose of it was. But then his sister, when it when his sister's like, did you tell her the, the, the you told her the veil story? You must. It usually works. She's like, you must be in works. love. Yeah. Like what? Um. So, anywho's, they start really, you know, starting to jive together. I mean, he's been jiving since the kiosk, but she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> He's been jiving since the kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The Apollo story. Yeah, it's the Apollo story. But um, I don't know. She goes no. to grandma's birthday and we finally get to see this apple pie come into yes. play. I guess it's a payoff. But I will say, <laughs> you know, they keep learning about this woman who the veil was supposed to be for. And this woman had a terrible life. Like that's she had hard. this baby from a servant, couldn't keep it, and that's who the baby they well, gave. Well, wasn't from, the, the baby, the baby was somebody? with Amici. She had the baby, yeah, with and they gave the she baby gave to the servant, to Carmela. Yeah, the maid. And it's the like baby. okay, but uh, <laughs> anywho, all that being said, I I don't. I know we usually give thumbs up and thumbs down at the end, but like I don't know. If this met up, met to my Empire Strikes Back part two standard. Oh my gosh, do not yeah. even start with comparing it to Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Chris, Chris, all right, well, let's say, what, do we want to objectify Paolo and then give our final final thoughts? I would will love that, that. Will that. Will that perk you up a little bit heading into I would love thoughts? to objectify this stalking All right, everybody, <laughs> it's that time again. It's your favorite time for Hallmark. According to Hallmark, it is love you, Ari. Love you, Ari. Two months, two months of love you, Ari. Two months of love you, Ari. Whatever you want to call it, because you can't add love to March because it's Larch. Pa pow. Speaking of Larch, this guy, I didn't, I didn't even bother looking up the dude's real name. What is? Wow, it's Paolo. His real name is Paolo. It's Paolo. It is not. It one hundred percent is. It it is is Paolo Bernardini. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here we have our hallmarked version of Paolo, okay? And I like a smile. I love the dimples. I'm going to go first, by the way. Uh, <laughs> you, got you got this. You got this. But uh, and it is nice. Here's the thing that I think is odd for a female identifying person to say. I found his Italian accent to be very annoying. <laughs> That's probably racist. I, <laughs> no. E- email all of your comments to remark the show at I, email.com. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to find it sexy. Yeah. I think, but that, uh, if he was Scottish, it would do it for me. Irish, meow. Literally the definition of racist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking accents, yeah. not the people. I mean, okay. It's, Never it's, mind. Cut this out. Yeah, no, no, this stays in. Oh, there, sorry, Kevin. You're out of time. <laughs> no, no. Okay. What do you got? Okay. So bring up the, bring up real Paolo pictures. Cause yeah, this is Walmart like this Paolo. One. Yeah. This really... is real Paolo. I mean, come on. He's, he's barefoot. He's got a guitar. Look at that sm- little smirky smirks. And yeah. then over there we have a bearded sort of like rugged, um, so this is what confuses me because we obviously want to vote on this character of Paolo, but then Hallmark hides this. <sighs> Torn? Yes. But I am going to give, and this might seem low, but it's mm-hmm. because I felt unsafe wow. from the beginning. Wow. I'm giving him a seven. <laughs> There's the seven, Paolo, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, bang. Like, I just don't. Bang, bang. Like, 
Wow, that's low. That is a low. It's low. Person. Very low. But it's All the right. character. It's because yeah. of the character. No, of course. Of course. And the accent. We get it. We get and it. And the accent. <laughs> yeah. Send your letters, like Mike said. <laughs> Kevin? Uh, Kevin, yeah. Uh, so listen, my man talks about Ginger Rogers. He loves America. Like, he loves America. He's been to America. He says that. He, he talks about Ginger Rogers. Um, he sings. He sings to her. Um there was definitely a creepiness, but it was to me it was like the least amount of creepiness that you get with a fella in um, this uh, s- surrounding. You know that he's not forward. He doesn't doesn't physically go after her. There was that move, which was a, a little inappropriate. And he does at the end of the movie, as they part ways before they get together, he says something uh, because she doesn't like long distance relationships. He says something about. Uh, Essentially, you should smile more. And it was like, mm, dude, yeah. come on. Not come cool. On that Not crap. cool. Uh, that said, his sports car matched her pants, and that is awesome and hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go an eight on him. Eight. Wow, an eight. That is high. That is high, my friend. Hi, Kevin. I think that seven's low and eight is high. We have a very... <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so my average is that I always just go 8.5 when I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, because the, usually the men are, are pretty sexy. And, you know, this yeah. guy with his shoes off and the guitar. It, Come it, on. It, 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 but 8.5. But uh, but sorry, Paulo, the actor, because I'm going to grade Paulo, the character. Character. Super weird throughout the entire yeah. film for me. Even at the end, he felt very forcey on her. She was like, I, you know, this was fun, but like, I got to go. And he showed up and she didn't seem convinced in her eyes and whatever. Um, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I got to go. I'll give him a 7.1 just to go a little higher than Kristen there. Okay. But going 7.1. However, I do give him a 10 as one of another character uh, he played, uh, uh-huh. which is close to my heart right now. And that is as Reed Richards in Fantastic Four, there is pow- no, it's Ian Gruffin. Uh, uh, I, uh, I just uh, feel like, I feel like they look a little bit. I different. literally was like, <laughs> wait a minute, what? <laughs> strong belief, strong belief <laughs> that he will show up this in is, Doctor Strange. This was on. Yeah. Th- this is this is why this was on my mind. But there they are, <laughs> loving each other with the loving each other. And I will say <laughs> once Amber again, Amber in Amber classic, Amber classic. Ho- oh, do you need to play the closing music? <laughs> No, we got we got to do our thumbs over thumbs down. Today. Oh, great! Yeah. Yeah. I thought there was an ending H three O music, but oh. we don't. We, don't uh, we could we could. How about just the? Uh, we can do it. That was <laughs> once again, everybody. <laughs> Hallmark holiday hugs. Yeah, objectification. H three O. And just so everybody knows that we don't cut anything out, I'm going to not, I'm, that's going to be a, that transition. It's going to be us being like, should we? Should we? Okay. Should we? Yeah, let's <laughs> do it. Should we? Should we? Yeah. Uh, so to wrap things up, uh, we see them get married six months later. Yes. So. Uh, what? It's quick. Six months. Quick. quick. It's quick. Yeah. Um, she's obviously wearing the veil. Yep. And we get to see uh, the wedding little clips of it but we don't get to see avery's peter husband. yeah her husband peter yep they couldn't afford to bring him back no so he's, but he's mentioned and he's, he's mentioned. there talking to her parents or his parents paulo's parents but again and- we don't see vic or rick or whoever nope. Nope. tracy nope. is dating yep. so this guy trash yep. so uh now this I, this felt forced yeah. is the like there's a little snag in it when yeah. they took like oh we can take the veil off oh there's a little snag tracy can you take it to new york to get it fixed even though we're in italy with a family that sews they lace. made it they made it they made it they what? freaking made it and and they're there. And Why? You're the sun. And it's Why? Listen, Her husband could fix it. <laughs> Kevin and Kristen, they could have also taken the Eagles to Mount uh, to Mount Doom in Mordor, and it would have been over. But it's a trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trilogy. <laughs> so we need to leave some loose ends because look who's coming up. Hey. There it is. <laughs> we have the Wedding Veil Legacy. We don't have to wait months for this because <laughs> Love You Worry is almost over this Saturday, February 19th at 8 p.m. You can watch Tracy and her guy there, Nick, 
presumably is who she's going to end up with. We shall see. I but don't they know. will be on this Saturday. We will be watching, we will be reviewing, and we will be back talking about it. Uh, what are we saying on this movie? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I hate to do it. I hate to do it. Just go for it. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Look at that. I I'm can a follow thumbs up. up then. I really am. I didn't I didn't have the hatred that you had. Uh, it's not Empire Strikes Back, but it's also not two Jakes. It was fine. It was I was no problems. I can't remember what I rated uh, the first one, the wedding. Val- I, I think, think we I'd all did it, this. I think did I we? gave it. Yeah. So if we did like if I did a sideways, oh, yeah. I have to I have to skew down. I actually really like um, Autumn Reese. Um, yeah. Sorry, I missed it. Yeah. Um, I just think the material was kind of yeah. rough. The, the, the wedding veil material. Yeah. Um, I also don't. Again, it just feels lazy. I don't understand why. You're gonna build this trilogy and not have more like crossovers and tie-ins uh, and I know. and things. It doesn't make sense other than it's just like a, it was like a ch- easy marketing thing yeah. that didn't get yeah. played out. So so you know you want these things to develop and cross over. Same thing with that Christmas one uh, with the two sisters in the opposite cities. Like I want more of that. So yeah, I'm good. Yeah, thumbs, 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 thumbs. Yeah. I didn't hate. I didn't hate it. Uh, it was right. thumb, thumbs mediocre. Yeah. yeah. I and here's the thing. Exciting news, Mike. If you like Autumn Reeser, you can see her. In an upcoming spring fling with, with? Tyler Hines <laughs> and Giada, the woman from Giada Jiggles. Have you ever watched those? <laughs> Giada, like the cook? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I, Giada, that's going to be a.